Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing ADMAS. ADMAS for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. As you know students, we have started chapter number 3 name indices and shares we did exercise 3.1 3.2 and 3.3 in previous lectures today we are going to start exercise 3.4 and the topic of exercise 3.4 is multiplication division and simplification of shares Exercise 3.1 and 3.2 was based on indices where we did rules of indices and uh, did so many questions uh, from exercise 3.1 and 3.2. Exercise 3.3 based on the definition of search and this exercise 3.4 is also related to search. The topic is multiplication, division. And simplification of search. You can see in purple background a very important line. I am reading you can multiply search using the rule root a multiplied by root b is equals to root a and b. I repeat again root a multiplied by root b is equals to root a b. It means when two or more roots are multiply each other, we can multiply internal values of their roots. Like the internal value of root A is A and the internal value of root B is B. So root A multiplied by root B is equals to root AB. For this rule, we can start exercise. Similarly, when two roots are divided to each other, we can uh, just write one root. And for example, if we have root A upon root B, we can write A upon B whole root. Let's start exercise 3.4, question number 1. <coughs> exercise 3.4, question number 1 is simplify. Simplify means as small as possible root 18 multiplied by root 2 what we see in the theory of roots theory of search when two roots are multiplied they get then we can multiply their values and write only one root 18 to the 36 the square root of 36 you know 6 so 6 is the answer very very easy similarly part b root 2 multiply by root 72 root 2 into root 72 is 72 2 into 72 because when two or more roots are multiplied then their values are multiply as well 2 into 72 you know is 144 you can check by using calculator and you know square root of 144 is 12. So 12 is the answer of part B. Part C. Root 5 multiplied by root 6. Again 5 into 6. With 1 root. 1 radical sign. 5, 6 is 30. And the square root of 30 is decimal. So no need to convert root 30 into decimal this is our final answer come to part d part d is root 2 square there are two method first method is if you have a square root with a square you can directly cancel this 2 by a square 2 2 is the answer the second method is write root 2 into root 2 into root 2 then root 2 into root 2 is root 4 and root 4 is 2. So whatever method you like, carry on. Part D. Part D is root 13 
square square and root cancel the answer is 13 part f part f is root 5 q this time we cannot cancel q by square root but you know if we have something cube we can write cube means write the number in three times root 5 into root 5 into root 5 so root 5 and root 5 can multiply that is 25 and this 5 remains root 5 what is the square root of 25 is 5 so 5 into root 5 is 5 root 5 so 5 multiplied by root 5 is the answer of part f come to part g part g is 3 root 2 multiplied by 5 root 3 the student multiply outside values by outside by by outs, outside value <clears throat> like 5 3 is a 15 and root 2 into root 3 is root 6 and because as root 6 have decimal values so we left the answer in this form okay part h part h is 7 root 5 into 2 root 7 again multiply outside values 7 to the 14 multiply inside value 5 7 the 35 but keep in mind there is no relation between outside value or inside value okay so 14 root 35 is the answer of part h come to question number two this exercise is very easy Simplify. Question number two. Very easy. Very, very easy. Question two, part A. Root 112 divided by root 28. What I told you, when two roots are divided to each other, it means their value can also be divided. So you can write this. 112 upon 28 and write only one root by using calculator find the answer of 112 upon 28 112 divided by 28 answer is 4 answer is 4 4 root and 4 root is 2 answer come to part b Part B is 52 root upon 26 root. So we can write 52 upon 26 whole root becomes one root. So you know 26 1 the 26, 26 2 the 52. So a square root of 2 is the answer come to part c root 12 upon root 3 can be right 12 upon 3 whole root 3 4 the 12 and 4 and root 4 is 2 so the answer of part c is 2 come to part d part d is 17 root upon 68 root can be write 17 upon 68 whole root you know 17 1 the 17 and 17 4 the 68 1 upon 4 the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 2 uh, 4 is 2 so the answer of part d is 1 upon 2 hope you understand part e these questions are very very easy 12 root upon 
1.108. This can be write 12 upon 108 root. 12 ones are 12, 12 nines are 108. You can check with the help of calculator. The answer is 1 upon 9 root. The root of 1 is 1 and the root of 9 is 3. This is the final answer. 1 upon 3 is the answer of part E. Part F. Part F is, you can see on the screen, root 15 upon root 3. So, it can be write 15 upon 3 root 3, 5 is the 15. Root 5 is the answer of part F. Part G. Part G is 54 root upon 6 root. This can be write 54 upon 6 whole root. 6, 9 the 54. And the square root of 9 is 3. This is our final answer. Come to part H. You can see these are very, very easy questions. Very easy. No confusion and no steps, more steps are required. Okay. Now, come to part H. 4 root upon 25. This can be right. 4 upon 25 root. 4 and 25 cannot cancel. But the square root of 4, you know 2 and the square root of 25 is 5. So 2 upon 5 is the answer. Part i. Part i is 5 root upon 81. Part i. So this can be right. 5 upon 81 root. A square root of 5 is simply a square root of 5 because the square root of 5 uh, is uh, the answer of a square root of 5 is not a whole number. So it will remain a square root of 5 but the square root of 81 is 9. So final answer is root 5 upon 9. Okay, come to part J. I want to make some space. Okay, ji. part J, part J is 88 root over 2 root 11, part J. So, 88 root upon 11 root can be right, 88 upon 11 and this 2 remains to root 2 sorry only 2 and I am writing this 1 upon 2 11 1 the 11 11 8 the 88 answer is root 8 and this 2 remains 2 root 8 can be right 2 into 2 into 2 upon 2 2 into 2 means 4 and 4 root is 2. So the answer is 2 root 2 and this upon 2 remains upon 2. 2 cancel by 2 and the final answer of part J is root 2. Okay. Come to part K. 9 root 20 upon 3 root 5. Very easy. 3, 3 is a 9. Outside value divided by outside. And these two roots can be right in one root. 20 upon 5. 3. 5 on the 5. 5 4 is a 20. Root 4. And 3. Root 4 is 2. And 3 to the 6. This is the final answer of part K. Come to part L. I want to make some space.
part L is 120 root upon 24 root. This can be write 120 upon 24 whole root. 24 1s are 24, 24 5 is 120. And the square root of root a square root of 5 is not a whole number. So therefore this is our final answer of part L. Part L answer is root 5. This is part L and this is question number 2. Now come to question number 3. lengthy question so first i will take part a to part p part a to part p simplify this is very very easy question very very easy Part A, root 8, root 8 can be write 2 into 2 into 2, 2 to the 4, root 4 is 2 and inside remains 2, okay. This is our answer of part A, 2 root 2. Come to part B, 12. 12 can be write 4 into 3 and the square root of 4 is 2 and 3 remains 3. So 2 root 3 is the answer of part B. Come to part C. 20. 20 can be write 4 into 5. The square root of 4 is 2 and 5 remains 5. Answer is 2 root 5. Part D. 28. 28 can be write 4 into 7. The square root of 4 is 2. Answer is 2 root 7. Part E. 50. 50 can be write 25 into 2. 50 can also be write 10 into 5 but because we need a smallest answer we need to write the answer as small as possible therefore we convert the given value in terms of two numbers so that first number square root is whole number and the inside square root the small value therefore square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 2 remains square root. Part F. Part F is 72. 72 can be right. 72. <coughs> 9, 8, 72. 12, 6, 72. And this can also be right. 36, 2, 72. And the square root of 36 is 6. So if you have practice of table, then you can easily solve each and every question. Part G. Part G is 18. 18 can be right 9 into 2. 9 root is 3. So the answer of part G is 3 root 2. Come to part H. Part H is 32. 32 can be write 16 into 2. The square root of 16 is 4. Answer is 4 root 2. I. I is 80. 80 can be write 16 into 5. And the square root of 16 is whole number. That is 4. 4 root 5 is our answer. Okay. J. 
JS90. Now we have so many choice of 90. This is part J. 90 can be right. 9 into 10. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 root 10 is the answer. K. 63. Can be right. 9, 7, the 63. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 root 7 is our answer. L. 44. 44 can be right. 44 can be right. Uh, 11 for the 44. 4 into 11. 4 root is 2. So answer is 2 root 11. Hope you understand. M. Sorry, sorry, this is not sequence is break. Excuse me, 11 is 99. Part L is 99. 99 can be right. 9 into 11. The square root of 9 is 3. So, 3 root 11 is answer. M is 44. M is 44. This time, we have to write 4 11s are 44. The square root of 11 is 2. 2 root 11 is the answer. N. 125. 125 can be right. 25 into 5. 25 5 is a 125. Square root of 25 is 5. So 5 root 5 is the answer. O. O is part O is 117. Part O is 117. 117 can be right. I will check from the calculator. Yes, 117 can be right, 9 into 13, the square root of 9 is 3, answer is 3 root 13, O, P, 200, 200 can be right, 100 by 2, it's very easy. 100 to the 200. The square root of 100 is whole number 10. So 10 root 2 is the answer of part P. Now some parts is still left. After part P, I am copying remaining parts of question number 3. Come to part Q. Part Q is 75 root. 75 can be right. 25 into 3. The square root of 25 is 5. So 5 root 3 is the answer. R. 3000 root root 3000 3000 can be right 100 into 30 100 into 30 is 3000 square root of 100 is 10 10 root 30 is the answer 10 root 30 s s is part s is 20 root upon 2. 20 can be right 4 into 5 root upon 2. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 root 5. 
upon 2 2 cancel by 2 answer is root 5 answer of part s is root 5 t part t 27 root upon 3 27 can be write 9 into 3 upon 3 the square root of 9 is 3 3 root 3 upon 3 3 cancel by 3 answer of part t is root 3 u u is 500 upon 5 500 upon 5 500 can be write 100 into 5 upon 5 root 100 is 10 10 root 5 upon 5 5 to the 10 so the final answer is 2 root 5 this is the answer of part u v 20 into 10 first we have to multiply both roots values according to the rule 20 tens are 200 20 tens are 200 200 can be right 100 into 2 the square root of 100 is 10 so 10 root 2 is the answer of part V. Part W. What I told you there are so many parts. But all parts are very easy. Root 5. Root 8 into root 5. So 8 into 5 root. 8 5 is a 40. 40 can be right 4 into 10. The square root of 4 is 2. So, 2 root 10 is the answer. Part X. Root 8 into root 6. Can we write 8 into 6 root? 8 6 is 48. Can we write 16 into 3? Because 16, 3 is 48. Square root of 16 is 4. 4 root 3 is the answer of part X x 4 root 3 last part part y 245 root into 5 root so this can be right 245 sorry this can be right 245 into 5 245 into 5 is 1225. 1225 root. 1225 root can be right. Twelve twenty-five root can be right if you multiply 35 by 35. So you will see 35 multiplied by 35 is 1225. So 35 into 35 both are same. So the answer is root outside the root is 35 square root of 35. Square root of 35 by 35 is 35. So the answer of part Y is 35. This is question number 3. There are so many parts from part A to part Y. W, X, Y, Z. I don't know why they didn't put part Z. If, if, if they put part Z, then ABC has completed. Okay, come to question number 4. I have taken from part A to part F. Simplify part A. 5 root 3 
plus 48. This time we have to add or subtract certs. Student, we can add or we can subtract certs if and only if that the inner value of root is same. This is 5 root 3. We cannot say that root this 3 and this 48 is 8. It will be wrong. First, we have to simplify this 48. 16 into 3. So 5 root 3. The square root of 16 is 4. 4 root 3. This time, both the root have same. That is root 3. So we have to add outside the values only. 5 plus 4 is 9. Answer is 9 root 3. This is part A. Come to part B. 12 root into, sorry, not into 12 root plus root 3. 12 can be write 4 into 3 plus root 3. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 root 3 plus 3. This time root, both the root have same. So 2 plus, if nothing, then 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this coefficient of root 3 is 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3 root 3. Don't add or subtract inside square root value. Come to part C. 20 root plus 3 root 5. 20 can be write 4 into 5 plus 3 root 5. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 root 5 plus 3. 3 root 5. This time though both the values of square root has same. So 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 root 5 is the answer. Come to part D. Part D is 75 root plus 2 root 3. 75 can be write 25 into 3 plus 2 root 3. The square root of 25 is 5. 5 root 3 plus 2 root 3. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 root 3 is our final answer of part D. Okay. Come to part E. Part E. I will do over here. Part E is 32 root minus 2 root 8. 32 can be write uh, 16 into 2 minus 2 and 8 can be write 4 into 2. The square root of 16 is 2, 2 root 2, the square root of the square root of 4 is 2. And this 2 can multiply by outside uh, 2 which is already present. So 2 root 2 minus 2 to the 4, 4 root 2. 2 root 2 minus 4 root 2. Kindly wait, I will check again. Sorry. The square root of 16 is not 2, the square root of 16 is 4. This is my mistake. Kindly ignore. Teacher can also does mistake. So 4 root 2 minus 4 root 2 answer is nothing than 0. 0 is the answer of part E. Part F. 125 root plus 80 root. 125 can be write 25 into 5. And 80 can be write 16 into 5. 16 5 is 80. 25 root is 5, so 5 root 5. 16 root is 4, so 4 root 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus root 9, sorry, 9 root 5 is the final answer of part F. Hope you understand. Come to remaining parts of question number 4.
पार्ट जी पार्ट जी इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव माइनस रूट फाइव वेरी इजी फोर्टी फाइव कैन बी राइट नाइन फाइव जो फोर्टी फाइव माइनस रूट फाइव नाइन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नाइन इज थ्री सो थ्री रूट फाइव माइनस रूट फाइव एंड देर इज नो कॉपिशन ऑफ सेकेंड रूट फाइव सो इट मीन्स वन थ्री माइनस वन इज टू रूट फाइव कैंडी डोंट सब्रैक्ट और एड इन साइड वैल्यूज दिस इज पार्ट जी टू रूट फाइव पार्ट एच पार्ट एच इज ट्वेंटी रूट माइनस फाइव रूट फाइव ट्वेंटी कैन बी राइट फोर इंटू फाइव माइनस फाइव रूट फाइव सो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर इज टू टू रूट फाइव माइनस फाइव रूट फाइव एंड टू रूट फाइव माइनस फाइव रूट फाइव इज माइनस थ्री रूट फाइव साइन ऑफ द बिगर नंबर पार्ट आई सॉरी आफ्टर जी जी एच आई यस जी एच आई आई इज वन सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी एट प्लस सिक्सटी थ्री दिस टाइम वी हैव थ्री रूट्स नो मैटर वन सेवेंटी फाइव कैन बी ब्रेक ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू सेवन वी कैन राइट ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू सेवन यू कैन चेक फ्रॉम द कैलकुलेटर ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू सेवन माइनस ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट कैन बी राइट फोर इंटू सेवन प्लस सिक्सटी थ्री कैन बी राइट नाइन इंटू सेवन ओके स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फाइव and 7 remains in the root square root of 4 is 2 and 7 remains in the root square root of 9 is 3 and 7 remains in the root add and subtract all sides all outside value so 5 minus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 so 6 root 7 is the answer of part i come to part j Part J is fifty plus seventy-two minus eighteen. Square root of fifty is twenty-five into two. Square root of seventy-two is eight uh, times a seventy-two and. Eighteen four za thirty six thirty six two za seventy two and eighteen can be right nine into two twenty five root is five so five root two thirty six root is six so six root two nine root is three so three root two now add And subtract all outside values. Five plus six, eleven. Eleven minus three is eight. So eight root two is our final answer. This is part J. Now come to part K. <coughs> part K is two hundred root minus two. Into eighteen plus seventy-two, two hundred. Two hundred can be right. Hundred into two minus two eighteen can be right. Uh, nine into two seventy-two can be right. Thirty-six into two. Okay, students. Now hundred root is ten, so ten root two minus two. Nine root is uh, three, and this three can multiply this outside two. Thirty six root is six, 
6 root 2. 10 root 2, 2, 3 is a 6, root 2 plus 6 root 2. This 6 root 2 and this 6 root 2 is cancelled to each other. So, final answer is 10 root 2. Hope you understand part K. Come to part L. L is 5 root 28 3 root 63 minus root 7. 5 28 can be right 4 into 7 minus 3 63 can be right 9 into 7 and minus root 7. So 5 the square root of 4 is 2, 2 root 7, minus 3 square root of 9 is 3, root 7, minus root 7. 5, 2 is a 10, root 7, 3, 3 is a 9, root 7, minus root 7. Okay, so 10 root 7, minus 9 root 7 and minus 1 root 7 is minus 10 root 7. root 7. 10 root 7 cancel by 10 root 7. The answer is nothing. Therefore, 0. Answer of part L is 0. Now, remaining 3 parts M, N and O. I will rub the whole board. Okay, come to part M. Part M is root 80 plus 2 root 20 plus 4 root 45. Okay, so 80 can be write uh, 16 into 5. 2, 20 can be write 4 into 5, plus 4, 45 can be write 9 into 5, the square root of 16 is 4, 4 root 5, the square root of 4 is 2, and this 2 multiply by this 2, 2 2 is a 4, 4 root 5, the square root of 9 is 3, and this 3 multiply by this 4, 3, 4 is a 12 root 5. Now add all outside value 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 12 is 20. Final answer is 20 root 5. Part M answer is 20 root 5. Come to part N. 5 root 12 minus 3 root 48 plus 2 root 75. 5, 12 can be right as 4 into 3, minus 3, 48 can be right 16 into 3, plus 2, 75 can be right 25 into 3. The square root of 4 is 2 and this 2 is multiplied by 5 is 5, 2 is a 10, root 3 minus. The square root of 16 is 4, 4, 3 is a 12. 12 root 3. The square root of 25 is 5. 5 to the 10. 10 root 3. 10 root 3 plus 10 root 3. Sorry. Sorry. This 10 root 3 and this 10 root 3. 20 root 3. Sorry. 20 root 3 minus 12 root 3. 20 root 3 minus 12 root 3 is 8 root 3. Answer of part M is 8 root 3. Part N, sorry. Part O. 72 root plus 8 root minus 98 root plus 50 root. 72 can be right again 36 into 2. 8 can be right 4 into 2. 
98 can be right 49 into 2 50 can be right 25 into 2 36 root is 6 so 6 root 2 4 root is 2 so 2 root 2 49 root is 7 so 7 root 2 25 is 5 and 5 root 2 6 plus 2 is 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13 root 2 minus 7 root 2, 13 minus 7 is 6, 6 root 2. This is the answer of last part, part O. Now finish question number 3. Sorry, finish question number 4. Now, how many questions are left? Question number 5, question number 6, question number 7, question number 8 and question number 9. So, remaining questions we will do in next lecture. This is our today's class. If you like today's lecture and previous lecture, kindly don't forget to subscribe my channel. And whenever you subscribe, don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload the my by when so that by when I upload uh, my videos, uh, you will get the notification. Don't restrict my videos to yourself. Kindly share as many students as you can. Your class fellows, your roommates, other school fellows, your relatives, as many share as many as you can. Okay, students. Good luck for next lecture.